Yeah, what we are doing actually is really exposing the children to yeah. spoken English which we know will help with reading skills and understanding. So what's the best way of uh, doing it in that sense? Through books or? We do it through this whole language approach where yeah. there is a component of listening, of speaking and of then actually doing reading and writing. So you know they'll even listen to a story and then there is talking about the story and then drawing pictures or you know so relating what they've understood in some form of writing. But do they pick up in that sense? See, we are very um, amazed at what's happened here in three months. We had children who ha would not respond to even one word of English. So comprehension has started, you know, so there's now at least an understanding, if not expression. There's this whole issue of diversity in Goa because different uh, kids come from very different backgrounds. They may be speaking very disparate language at home. So how do you cope with that? And it's English in, in is a not funny, one of them. Yeah. Yes, in a really strange way, we are then looking at English as this unifying yeah. language simply because we feel that it is the language of education at the moment. Mm. And because they lack any kind of basic understanding of English, they are unable to cope in the fifth standard with yeah. school. But it's a political issue also, no? because it's, it's a, a sensitive very, issue. It's, it's a, a very sensitive issue and at no point the purpose is to erode what is the mother tongue or what is the spoken language of the children or what is, you know, the culturally accepted language of their community. But it is to give them the language that is required to cope with But school. can they be bilingual, trilingual? In, yeah, you know, the interesting thing about this class is uh, they, on an average, the children speak three to four languages. That alone is amazing. Because most of the children come from a Kannada, Telugu or Marathi background. Yeah. Their medium of instruction is Marathi. They have English as a subject. And they talk to each other in either Hindi or Konkani. So, yeah, there is great multilingualism. And this is your first school? This is the first school where It's our first school where we are doing a program where we do yeah. an hour every day. I see. And Other schools we do one a month. I see. So this is the first kind of, you know, because of volunteers from the village again. I see. You know, so we've contacted parents who live around, who uh, came for training to the firm and who, you know, support the initiative. So you're open to studying elsewhere also, if, if, if volunteers come? Yeah, if, if there is this kind of a support, it makes sense because I think this will regenerate, uh, you know, government schools that sadly we are thinking that we need to close down because of lack of admission.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 